in today's video i would like to explain you the course structure fees learning portals assignments and quiz where you can find them before going to the portal let's start understanding how you can make a decision if you really need a m tag or not so two things you need to consider always before making any decision one is your future prospects okay what is what will be your future another is roi okay these are professional courses they these courses are not for so this this is really really important roi and your future aspect so when you look upon the roi right you can have two types of rois one is tangible which is like quantifiable okay like your salary is increased by certain percentage you, your position is improved by certain certain percentage or certain you got some posting on top or non tangible non tangible could be you got better at your job okay your performance improved maybe you are not able to manage measure it but i would consider it non tangible you are more confident you are more satisfied at your job okay that's how i see it these are the on the return uh, return of investment term so job satisfaction okay these are these are the few things uh, i think if you are making a decision these things you should consider as part of your roi uh, assessment now let's talk about the future aspects so let's let's bring it here so if you want to move abroad okay uh, uh, you need this degree for your visa visa application one another could be you are stuck in a position you want to make a career move okay let's say you want to make a career move maybe outside of the organization and you need something something extra which is you are lacking right now then it could be like in the within the organization you are on like let's say on a manager position and uh, you want to move to the system architect role or some different role uh, because you have not been in technology touch for a long period of time you need some push to move to this position and that's why you are taking this degree that is something also a future aspect so that's how i see this degree can help and this decision should be taken consider for example fees uh, the duration and the applicability or utilization how you will sink it let's say in your career so i would say applicability this is this is very individualistic and uh, like you might have a different financial situation so you uh, do you want to pay it by yourself or your organization is paying duration is like 2 years and uh, like are you committed for 2 years the because the fruits will come after 2 years you cannot utilize it before that and applicability maybe you are in not not in a very uh, you know aligned field maybe you are not working in uh, let's say software development and you are in some different domain you want to make a complete switch and then the data science these are the th few things i would consider if i am making a decision over here so with this let's move to the course structure and fees so i'll switch to the portal where website of uh, on where the admission is published so you can see that bits plan em tech data science engineering and this is since i'm making in fab you still have time for uh, for the application okay uh, this is a new update here ugc approved so this program has been approved by ugc and uh, another is emi option with 0% interest if you guys have some issues with finance and still wants to move forward with the uh, with this degree you can take it even i don't advise to take loans but i mean if it's, an, it's an investment if you think it's helpful for you you can go with this the semester fees has been increased somehow i always say that uh, these fees are always going up even the salaries are not increasing proportionally uh, sometimes i wouldn't say that is 100% true but fees is always adjusted with the inflation so when i did my course it was 55000 and now they are charging 62750 rupees which is like 7000 750 increment in two years itself so and this is per semester by the way you are going to pay 62 let's say here sorry 62 let's say multiply by i am just rounding it off let's round it to 60 itself 240 add that 10000 extra so let's say you are paying at most 2 lakh 50000 okay but the problem what happens here this 2 lakh 50000 you need to earn at least if you are in the 30% bracket you are going to you need to earn 1.3 of this right because 30% you are paying as income tax as well so if you 3.25 so when you think about this and if you are in 30% bracket actually for this degree you are paying 3.25 lakhs because you need to earn this money right so 2.5 so that's the calculation so uh, you are paying 3.25 lakhs with two years investment on this degree this needs to be considered okay and this is like your factor of 
uh, your tax amount because you need to earn 2.5 in order to earn 2.5 you need to actually in uh, in the absolute term you need to earn 3.25 in uh, from your job and from wherever you want because you are paying taxes as well so uh, let's move forward from here you can read this completely i'm not completely. going to i also made some separate videos with my if you want to know my opinion you can watch them one thing i want to mention here when you when you go from semester to the another semester always always be very uh, focused on what type of the elective you are using for example deep learning is a good take natural language processing is a good take don't take artificial computational intelligence it does not make a lot of difference like i mean it's up to you uh, you can you can look upon the graph algorithms and mining this is really good one then uh, information retrieval it's it's really really good information retrieval i would say or you can go with the probabilistic graphic model these are my recommendations you can go whatever you 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 like ethics for data science just read 20 blogs on internet you are done so i don't think so it's even a subject to be taken okay uh, because here you want to build your technical knowledge not your theoretical this is something you can read and watch some uh, read some books watch some videos on internet but i think information retrieval is a really good subject then probably probabilistic graphical the model is also is a good subject graphical graphs algorithms mining it's picking up due to the social mining things like that and also like nlp and dl uh, these are these are critical one in the learning method you will be given access to this impartus lecture capsule i mean this is a portal where you will be attending your all the lectures uh, professor will come and they will have similar pen like I am having right now this way and they will be uh, explaining you everything e-learning portal is this portal is used for your all the assignments for your quizzes and uh, uh, it's pretty organized actually they will share your uh, the notes here they will share everything over the this portal from the bits pilani so I think this is well organized you don't need to do anything on this let's go back so this is about learning how you are going to learn which means impartus is for your online learning e-learning portal is for your all the documents and organizations okay let's go back this is very important online examination uh, since uh, this pandemic happened uh, everything moved to online and now online is proven that it can work so you will be taking online examination from home how it will happen similarly okay. you have a camera okay somebody is watching you from there you are sitting on your desk at your home okay this is your desk and here you have your laptop okay you are writing on your pen paper okay you are not sitting still here so you are sitting let's say here i'm sorry for the picture but you are sitting here you are writing on a paper okay this is your paper you are writing you have written your question you take a picture so you capture this on your phone you have a qr of qr code of your uh, uh, of your question okay question qr code you scan it okay the qr code is scan so what open it opens it opens a web page to upload your seat this seat you whatever the photo you have captured you upload it there okay that's how you you will be doing and then it goes to bit server okay most of the time you will see that uh, exams are like two hours exam so 10 to 12 2 to 4 this is like this is am this is your pm time not this am this is pm this is am okay this is your pm time both and that's how the examination will happen so let me put it here this is for your exam so you will have exams two times one is your mid sem let me write it here uh, with a different color let me write it like you have mid same same setting and you will have regular compre uh, comprehensive exams like this okay they give you a two chance one is called regular exams okay and another is called like makeup okay you will have two type of the exam so if, for example if you miss regular for a week and you have some work schedule you can take that next week in the makeup but i will highly encourage you to take everything in the regular because it's better okay that's your examination schedule looks like so i explain you that too now moving forward from here uh, eligibility criteria it's like if somebody has 60 percent one year of experience in the industry they can participate they can enroll themselves fees structure is already explained uh, yeah this is some extra fees they are charging uh, initially it was less now it's it's quite high actually okay uh, how to apply are already explained over here these these are the points you can look upon 
these are the, this is a some point which you want to look upon you can see that uh, this is a ugc approved and um, you can also look how the information has been populated over here i have already given a template of mtech degree you can look on that the similar degree you will get you will also get that somewhere in the faqs if you look around you will find that what is the format for the mtech in data science degree so that's all on in this video if you have any specific questions please let me know and i'm making more videos how you can uh, maximize your potential and benefits from this particular degree uh, please keep watching the videos and subscribe to the channel thanks a lot see you in the next video